a CSA member is usually a CSA is just the box and it certainly is the core of the CSA. The box is all you pay for. Um, but with our CSA, we like to think outside the box too. And, and when you're coming to our farm, you see the five signs. Bluebird Garden CSA. Welcome to, yes, your farm. And your is in capital letters because it's more than empty words. And the harvest events symbolize the word your to our farm. You have given us so, enjo so much enjoyment this summer, watching, having the chance to watch you <laughs> peruse over your farm, picking basil, cut flowers, tomatoes, peas, beans, sweet corn, and we've just soaked up and enjoyed how much you have enjoyed and used your farm. And so the purpose of this little YouTube is just to show you what's coming up this fall. It's going to be exciting fall harvest events where you can come and soak up your farm even more than you have this summer. So even though it's fall and usually farms don't raise sweet corn in the fall, we plan it to go way into the fall. So sweet corn will still be a harvest event for quite some time to come. So much vitamin C and other things in sweet corn and so, so many have already taken part in the corn harvest but it will go on way into the fall. Now our typical stands in Fergus corn is like $6 a dozen so your 10 dozen sweet corn has a value of $60, you know, that is a free gift from your farm to you. And so you might want to take advantage of this and make sure you eat it raw in the field because that is like the best. Yes, there is nothing <laughs> better than sweet corn raw. So one of the neat harvest events in the fall that so many families just enjoy is the pumpkin harvest where you get eight pumpkins. This starts um, October 6th and goes on through the 19th. So here's this huge one, probably worth $10 or more, maybe depending on where you go, $10 to $20. So you get eight pumpkins from your farm. And so in this little cluster, there are five of them. There's Cinderella, which people asked for last year, um, the white pumpkin, and then all these beautiful orange ones and so we mixed all the seed up and so every kind is mixed through the whole pack so it'll be like a treasure hunt. There are the knuckleheads which have the little warts on, a real hard one, you don't want to carve with those but you could sure paint them or just have them for decoration and then all the beautiful um, jack-o'-lantern type pumpkins that you will want to decorate your whole yard. Be cool. And one of my favorite squashes are the buttercup, and you see three of them just piled up on top of each other. That's just how they grew. That's how thick the buttercup squash is in this patch. And you kind of look for the corking on the stem, and usually there's a yellow on the bottom like that, yellow-orange. And so that shows they're ready. So by October 6th, they will be just be bursting with sweet flavor and be totally ready for the harvest event, the fall harvest event, to start. So celebration, that's exactly what it is. It's a real fancy um, acorn squash. It was one we had last year and people liked it so much that it's certainly back. And so these long, long rows are just filled with celebration squash. Well, well last year we discovered that everybody's favorite, including mine, was delicata squash. Um, and we have lots and lots of delicata squash on the farm this year. And so that's one you don't want to miss for the harvest event either. Just the sweetest and most incredible um, squash there is. It's kind of a more delicate squash, harder to get out of the ground and get growing. But boy, when it makes these, we're lucky indeed. Another squash you want to try is spaghetti squash. It has a texture like spaghetti. Maybe not as sweet as other squashes, but a lot of people like sp spaghetti squash. And there are a ton of them here. Here's everybody's favorite, it's pick a pie pumpkin. And it looks like a nice little carving pumpkin, but you really might want to use it instead to bake pie or pumpkin bars or anything like that. You bake it in the oven just like a normal squash. You can cut it in half and bake it. And then um, just scoop out the insides to make pie or bars. It was a favorite last year, so you'll want to get um, pick a pie pumpkins. And we're putting them in the squash category, so you can mix and match the 12 of, of any variety you want, and so it's only up to you. <clears throat> and 
Another harvest event is the fall decorative, and so you can get a five gallon pail of, of beautiful gourds like this for your harvest event coupon. One of people's favorite fall harvest events is the potato pick, and you get 100 pounds, which is four five gallon pails of potatoes. We have Norlands, um, a few russets, um, Yukon Gold, and Kennebec, but mostly people like the, the red potatoes. Um, we, they're not as big or as plentiful as other years, but um, we have so many acres of them, so we were, we were planning ahead for the harvest event, so everyone should get all the potatoes they want. So if you're wondering about current harvest events, always check our website. It's under the category harvest events, and the one to check for daily updates is current harvest events. And so we look so forward to seeing you for the fall harvest events, and, and the, those all start October 6th, but there's many ones going on right now in September and throughout the whole fall. And so keep in touch with us um, through, um, through the website and through my emails with you as well. And if there are any changes, I'll let you all know, and we look forward to seeing you at your farm.